Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the channel. And I know a lot of people are talking about towing with a 1500. This is a 2019 with the 5.7 liter. And this is how we got it loaded out for this road trip. Not too much stuff in here. We've got a 7x14 all aluminum Neo. This is a Neo Nav NAV tandem axle of course and um so you can see the trucks i think it's pretty level you know we've got the trailer probably weighs in close to 2000 and we got probably 1300 in it so not too squatty i don't have a low distributing hitch i have Electric brakes, of course, though. And I'd say the truck's fairly level. It does go down a few inches. We measured the tongue weight was, we bought one of those uh, tongue scales. And tongue weight was about uh, 375, I think. So, not too bad, not too much squat, but a little. I don't hear of air shocks or anything. No mod, so... So far it's doing a job in the hills. We haven't hit a huge grade yet, but I know we got a 5% or so coming up. So we're making our way up a grade here. I was watching YouTube for a video of Ram 1500s pulling the trailer, going up and down some grades, and there weren't too many. So I thought I'd make some while we were Going through West Virginia here. Didn't even touch the brake. Had total control. Could go faster, could slow it down just with the gears. So, um, that's the first 5% I've done in the Ram 1500. I'm telling you, I was dreading it. You know that better. Mm -hmm. I was just, you know, scared. I didn't know how I was going to perform with this trailer. And, um, no problem. So the thing I've learned just from doing these uh, descents is you want to stay in, in front of the curve, you know, you don't want to get the speed 
going too fast and then trying to break it down. It's like start slow and let it build up. But I'll tell you, with the 1500 so far, I can just come off the gas. Look at that truck's right on that dude, man. Yikes. If I can just come off the gas and it will like feather it down. And I mean, obviously, if you're overloaded, it's going to be more of a challenge. Just keep an eye on your cargo weight. You know, you have to calculate your tongue weight into um, your overall cargo weight with the weight of the passengers and your fuel and your belongings and all that stuff added up. So, like on my Ram, we've got. A big gas tank, 33 gallon, it's an extra sized. We got the longer bed. So like our max cargo weight's only 1,500 pounds. So if you get, you know, 400, 500 pounds on a trailer hitch, that really uh, is a big percentage of your, and then you put a couple of heavy guys like us in there and uh, some gear and such, and you can be right, up, right away up to your max. So you gotta add it all up. Don't do nothing silly. Take your time, just go slow, stay in front of the speed curve. Man. They say, what's that saying? You can go down a mountain slow a thousand times, but you go down too fast that may be your last time so I don't like that feeling. So we're going down a 5% grade. I got a limit at the fifth gear. Slow is less for us. Let the engine do the work. But with this, you know, I was worried. I stayed up for nights worried about that. This is low 1500 going to be able to manage a load. And it goes, handles it, goes right down the road with it. No worries at all. It's beautiful country. Well, now we've got a beautiful sunset going, guiding us home in the Ram 1500, 2019, but still. <laughs> Triumphantly guiding us home after a successful mission of almost a thousand miles. Now we went, delivered our trailer load of stuff to Virginia through the mountains, came back through the mountains. Not a problem at all. I didn't lose sleep. I'd worried about it plenty. It was always on my mind how that truck's gonna do since we got it. Look at that guy, dude. He's filming now. Gonna have a wreck right here. He was inches from that guy. What a nut. <clears throat> There's a sun right in that one. Let's see where he's going. Dipping quickly. I hope that's a sign of good luck. I'm taking it as a sign of good luck anyways. We've got two more hours to go. Running out of sunlight, but it was a good trip. Not to jinx it. No mishaps yet. Everything running smooth and steady. But yeah, just 
you've got a 1500, if you've got a half ton, you're worried about towing a, what would you say, properly, you know, I don't know if it's proper. A load that's, you know, within specs, and you, you can do it. I guess they pay the engineers the big money to figure all that out, so. We were within the specs, and, and uh, it had no issues going up or down those mountains. You can go as quick as you want, or less, just if you want to juice it. I tend to take it easy, go light on my uh, my stuff, try to make it last, but some guys, they're on it, man. They get their foot to the metal. So if you're worried about it, put your mind at ease, take it easy. Don't overload, don't do anything stupid. This is just for entertainment purposes, of course. Don't sue us if you get in a wreck because you overloaded the thing. Shoot auto companies. I don't know, I'm just a, a user, first time user. I'm pleasantly pleased. People are probably wondering in every video there's a sandwich sitting. <laughs> so as always, I appreciate your support, your time, stopping by to check up on the old guy. It means so much. Until next time, we'll see you soon.